Hi friends, and welcome to the second entry in SNSD Pop's autistic ramblings about topics that matter to no one but her. In this video, I will explore the popular concept and genre, Christian horsegirl music, and its origins in J-pop. This genre is one of my most beloved, so I'm super excited to be doing a video about it. Christian horsegirl music is an unofficial term made by K-pop fans to describe songs and concepts that are whimsical, youthful and innocent in style. Musically, this genre usually combines and expands upon existing genres such as synth-pop, musical theatre, R&B, orchestral and rock. Aesthetically, this genre utilises a youthful and bright image with artists commonly wearing matching seifuku or costumes with white and pastel colour palettes and releasing music videos that are filmed outdoors, in schools or in decorated sets. Lyrical themes common in this genre are love, hope, dreams, adolescence and friendship. However, some songs and concepts included in this genre can adopt darker and more melancholic aesthetics with themes such as heartbreak, loss and mental health. It's 1980 in Japan. We are in the glory days of solo idols. Onto the stage steps Matsuda Seiko and music as we know it is forever changed. Yes, I am arguing that Christian horsegirl music started or is at least heavily inspired by the charming girl next door stylings of Japanese idols like Matsuda Seiko in the 1980s. There are several similar characteristics here from the neat and light visuals to the lyrical themes and the instrumentals. Also common at this time amongst the idols were emotional ballads which I think were combined with the brighter pop sound to create Christian horsegirl music as we know it today. From the late 80s and through the 90s, Japan witnessed the decline of the idol in pop culture and it wouldn't be until the late 90s through the 2000s that idols would become popular once more. During the J-pop idol renaissance of the 2000s and 2010s, one of the most common and most popular conceptual and music styles was the sweet and wholesome genre of Christian horsegirl music. Spearheaded by groups like AKB48, Muse and Nogizaka46, the concept would then trickle into K-pop and become popular amongst groups like G-Friend, Aping and Lovelies. Here is a compilation of some songs from this era that I love and think are important in this genre.
time as K-pop companies try to market their artists in a way that is more palatable for Western audiences, we have seen Christian horoscope music phased out in favour of cooler and edgier styles. It is not uncommon to see videos or social media posts lamenting over the, over the loss of this beloved genre, but is it truly dead everywhere? No, it's not. If you would only take the time to glance across the pond from South Korea to Japan, you would find that this genre is alive and well. I have put together a lovely compilation of songs from the past four years to show you guys that this music is still out there and you should definitely check out this artist. <laughs> so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video please let me know what you think in the comments and until next time bye